You know, today I'm going to be walking through a dead simple N8N workflow that I think every company operating on HubSpot should have running right now. We are combining a super simple HTTP request with some open AI to be able to scrape the websites of new HubSpot companies that get created so we can send an open AI agent to pull out any type of detail and data that we want to feed back into HubSpot as custom properties. So in this example, whenever a company gets created in our HubSpot, we're gonna do three things. We're gonna pull out what is the mission statement of this company? Are they a potential partner of ours? Which is a big thing we're always trying to differentiate. Is this a sales opportunity or is this a potential partner? And then we're also, if they are not a potential partner, meaning they're a sales opportunity, there are some potential qualifying questions that we could ask them. And then finally, does it look like everything that we can find on their website, are they likely using HubSpot? So those are the questions that we're trying to answer. We've got those set up in HubSpot as custom properties. I'm gonna show you how the workflow operates here. So diving into it, we start this workflow with a HubSpot trigger. So essentially, we're just watching our HubSpot account for any time a company gets created. What that returns is essentially gives you an event ID, an app ID, but it also returns the company ID. So the next thing that we do in the workflow is we actually go and get that company. So we're just br basically bringing in the JSON company ID from the original trigger, and that's gonna feed out that specific company and all of its related data. From there, we can use the information that we get from our HubSpot in the, in the next part of the workflow, which is sending an HTTP request to the domain of the company that was just created. So essentially what this is gonna return is a whole bunch of data that includes all the formatting. Essentially this is the entire website text that gets returned in this HTTP request. So from there, I'm using a little bit of error handling, which is sometimes, you know, if there's a firewall or if the website's just not active, we wanna error handle that. So we use the true false branch to just pick up different error codes or if there's an error name in the uh, HTTP request to filter those out. If we do filter it out, we basically just update the company to say that the AI enrichment status has failed. From there, if we do not see an error and we got a successful scrape, we use this HTML to markdown object and all this is gonna do is basically pull out all of the extraneous formatting so that we can have something that's a little bit easier for the OpenAI model to actually comb through. So it's just more so looking at text and links that are present in the website copy. So here I'm just using an OpenAI model. We did a little bit of prompt engineering here to get down to a prompt that actually is focusing on providing an output that we can use. So here's the prompt. It's essentially, you know, you're a sales intelligence and partner evaluation agent. Uh, your instructions are to analyze the website markdown content in the following sequence, pull out the company mission, give me a website summary, evaluate if they'd be a potential fit. If they are a good fit, you know, this is what they look like. If they're not a good fit, return that. Um, give us a summary. If you think they'd be a good fit, why is it that you think they'd be a good fit? Um, some examples of like companies that would not be a good fit. From there, we do a, uh, do they use HubSpot? Do they uh, provide some like icebreaker questions? And then a couple strategic questions as well. So we give it the output format and these, this output format will map to custom properties that we've already created in HubSpot. And then we provide some company examples of both good fit and not a fit from our perspective. So you can design these prompts really however you want. And the benefit of doing that is AI is super, super good at lead classification as well as lead scoring. So rather than the first process that our team usually takes is like going to the website of a company that gets created, typically inbound, um, as leads are downloading our lead magnets, they're just filling out a form with their email address. We're taking that domain, sending these AI agents to go classify and qualify as much of the information as we possibly can just to speed up the process of information gathering so we can filter through all the inbound leads in our CRM that much more effectively. So as we get that structured data output, what we do is we send that information back into HubSpot. 
But you can see the content from the OpenAI model comes out. We've got it structured as JSON, so we get really cleanly company mission, website summary, partner fit, partner fit summary, uses HubSpot as false. Here's an icebreaker question, three strategic questions. So what we're doing is we're just mapping that to the last object here, which is updating the company. And you can see I've just pulled out the custom property. So in our HubSpot, we have a custom property for company mission, company summary, potential icebreaker, strategic question one, two, three, partner fit, partner fit summary, likely uses HubSpot. And then at the end of this, we're updating the AI enrichment status to complete. So in our HubSpot, what that's created for us is we come over to the company record. We've got all this great information that we can see about this company that just that was just created inbound. So there's some like cool strategic questions here. You know, are you currently managing and automating guest communications and promotions across your diverse offerings, especially during peak and off seasons? Right, as a family operated resort with a strong digital presence, are you leveraging data to personalize marketing campaigns and, and improve customer retention year over year? It's just all about trying to speed up the, um, the information gathering. And then what we do is when we're filtering out inbound leads, we use this partner fit category as a way to just de determine the type of nurture sequence that we want to put these companies on. You know, if they're more suited for like partnership conversation or a partner track, we got a different nurture communication that goes out versus if they're more suited for like a sales conversation. So again, this is a super foundational workflow that I think, you know, if you're look, thinking about ways that you can leverage AI, um, N8N is a really inexpensive subscription. It allows you to use these models and take and manipulate data that you're already getting in a way that can become super, super powerful. So anyways, I wanted to share that today. Like I said, I think it's a foundational workflow that you should be building for your company. The prompt engineering side of this too is just gotten so much easier when you use AI to actually build these prompts. Just takes a little bit of reiteration. I love to use Claude personally. Gemini is also pretty good, but I find Claude is just super great at actually writing prompts for other AI agents. So that's how we developed that prompt. If you'd like to me to send you this workflow, I can send you the template and you can just upload it into your N8N. Just comment down below workflow template and I will send it over to you. Um, and if you also want the prompt, feel free to let me know and I can send you the prompt for the OpenAI model. If you get the N8N template, the prompt will be included in there. So hope this was helpful. As always, if you are getting into this stuff, if you're working on N8N, working with AI and automations, I'd love to connect with you. Feel free to send me a connection request and uh, hit me up with any questions. Thanks so much.